Welcome to the Beware Cast, where I teach you about the things that you need to beware of. In 2009's District 9, director Neil Blomkamp introduced the world to one of the most distinctive alien species in modern science fiction cinema. Nicknamed prawns by the people of Johannesburg due to their crustacean-like appearance, these beings were neither conquerors nor monsters. But who, or what, are the prawns? Where did they come from? What are they capable of? And what secrets still surround their mysterious biology and technology? The prawns stand roughly 7 to 8 feet tall with elongated limbs, exoskeletal plating, and insectoid facial structures. Their appearance seems to blend elements of crustaceans, insects, and humanoids. Though their physiology seems tough and well armoured, the prawns in District 9 are visibly weakened, underfed, and in poor condition, suggesting they are not operating at full health or potential. Despite their apparent frailty, prawns possess immense physical strength. They can rip through sheet metal and overpower humans with ease. Their reaction times are fast, and they appear to have a broad spectrum of sensory input possibly including ultraviolet or electromagnetic perception. Their mandibles suggest a method of communication not fully understood by humans, though they are capable of learning and understanding English, even if they speak it with difficulty. Most striking is their biochemical compatibility with their own technology. Only prawns, or humans who have undergone a biological transformation, can operate their weapons and machines. This suggests their bodies emit specific pheromones, neural signals, or some form of unique biosignature required to activate their gear. The prawn's technology is staggeringly advanced, surpassing human capabilities in every field, despite them arriving in what appeared to be a broken down mothership. Their weapons are biomechanical in nature, and can fire high intensity plasma blasts, disintegrate targets, and even induce gravitational anomalies. Perhaps the most mysterious and vital technology is the fluid harvested by one Christopher Johnson, a member of the prawn race who adopted a human name, an iridescent black substance capable of powering and piloting their ship. This liquid also has mutagenic properties capable of rewriting human DNA into prawn biology over time. Whether this is an unintended side effect, or a natural part of their biology, remains unknown. The prawns encountered on Earth seem disorganised, aimless, and docile, far removed from the powerful species their technology implies. This suggests that the prawns we see are either a worker or underclass caste, possibly bred for servitude. There's strong evidence to suggest their society is hierarchical, with Christopher Johnson and his child displaying significantly higher intelligence, curiosity, and initiative than the majority. Communication also appears to be complex, involving rapid clicking and buzzing vocalizations. While humans require computer assistance to interpret their language, the prawns seem to understand humans effortlessly. This, along with their ability to learn human behaviours and technology rather quickly, points to high cognitive adaptability. They also exhibit deep emotional intelligence. Christopher Johnson clearly expresses grief, empathy, protectiveness toward his child, and even sorrow at the treatment of his fellow prawns. Far from mindless creatures, these aliens possess a full range of emotions and a desire for freedom and dignity. The film never names or depicts the prawns' home planet, but it's reasonable to speculate based on their physical and technological traits. Their chitinous exoskeletons, aquatic visual resemblance, and dense muscle structure suggest a world with high gravity and possibly large bodies of water. Their reliance on biomechanical technology hints at a planet where organic and artificial life may be deeply intertwined perhaps even co-evolved. If the stranded ship was part of a larger fleet or a slave transport vessel, then the prawns we encounter may never have been intended to act independently, which would explain their helplessness after the command structure collapsed. 
Whatever their origin, their appearance on Earth was clearly not intentional, and their long separation from home has had a profound effect on their behaviour, psychology, and social dynamics. One of the most enduring mysteries of the heart of District 9 is how the prawn ship came to hover over Johannesburg in the first place. The film never explicitly explains its origins, leaving room for fascinating speculation. A few prominent theories have emerged among fans and analysts alike, each offering a different perspective on what they may think have happened before the events of the film began. The most widely accepted idea is that the ship was a slave or worker transport vessel, as I stated before, possibly automated or under minimal command. The prawns we encounter appear to be a genetically or socially engineered labour caste, docile, aimless, and unaccustomed to independent thinking. According to this theory, the ship may have been part of a larger fleet or en route to deliver its cargo when something went catastrophically wrong. Possibly a system failure, mutiny, or the death of the commanding cast aboard. Without leadership or navigational control, the ship could have drifted for years or even decades before arriving in Earth's orbit, finally settling above Johannesburg due to automated descent protocols or sheer gravitational pull. Another theory posits that the ship was damaged in space, perhaps in a conflict or collision, and limped to Earth as a last resort. Earth may not have been a planned destination, but rather a convenient, habitable planet within range of the vessel's failing systems. The prawns aboard were already in dire condition when they arrived, possibly as a result of whatever accident forced them here. This would explain their malnourishment, the ship's apparent disrepair, and the fact that the command module was entirely missing, possibly jettisoned or lost during the crash. A darker interpretation suggests the ship was deliberately sent to Earth as a kind of interstellar exile or prison barge. In this version, the prawns were considered expendable or dangerous by their own species and forcibly removed. Earth, a technologically primitive planet by comparison with no known galactic presence, was the perfect place to abandon a population deemed unfit for their society. This theory recontextualizes the prawns not as victims of misfortune, but as unwanted remnants of an alien civilization's darker impulses. Despite the incredible strength displayed by the prawns, they are not invulnerable. Their exoskeleton provides only moderate protection, high caliber weapons and explosives can kill them. They also appear to be vulnerable to malnutrition, disease, and poor sanitation, much like ourselves. Most importantly, they are deeply dependent on their own technology. Without it, they lack organized leadership, direction, or the ability to mount resistance. Their confusion, apathy, and vulnerability seem to stem from trauma, possible social conditioning, or even genetic limitations placed on their caste. Their greatest weakness may be that they were not meant to be independent, which makes Christopher Johnson's intelligence and self-determination all the more remarkable.